personal training and today we're going to make a butternut squash soup. So let's go through the ingredients. First we have um, two pounds of butternut squash soup. I got this at Costco. They also sell it at Whole Foods. It is way easier than buying the actual butternut squash. Um, we did that once and as Ray will tell you it's a pain in the butt to cut so just buy it like this. Um, then we're going to use two cloves of garlic, half a cup of canned coconut milk, about half an onion, um, we're going to put sea salt to taste, and we're going to put a dash of cayenne pepper, cinnamon, and ginger. First thing we have to do is I already have water on the stove boiling, you can see behind me. I'm just going to put the butter squash in there and boil it until it's soft. The squash is all cooked, as you can see it's pretty soft. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it in my handy blend tech. And I'm going to try not to burn myself. I'm a very klutzy cook if you haven't figured out. Let's see, there you go. Okay. Keep putting that in there. It's okay if a little bit of water gets in there. Alright, so I'm going to blend this up before we put any of the other ingredients in. Blend it up. As you can see, it's nice and smooth. Now we're just going to add the rest of the ingredients. So we're going to throw some onions in there. And this actually tastes good like this by itself, but we want to make it more savory. So we're going to throw that in there. Some cloves of garlic. Coconut milk. Don't mind the beeping. That's my dishwasher. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to put one fourth a, t a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and if you don't like things that are spicy, then you don't have to put this in, and cinnamon, one fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon, and we're just going to put a little bit of ginger, not too much, ginger is pretty powerful, so you don't want to put too much because then you can't take it out, and then we're going to put a pinch of salt, and we're going to blend that all up again. This time I'm going to blend it on a lower setting because the butternut squash is already blended. Okay guys, um... We have a little bit of a problem. My cameraman deleted the video of me actually finishing the soup. And since I can't go back, this is, I had already put the, the soup in a bowl to save it for tomorrow. So this is what it looks like. It's a little darker from the cinnamon and the cayenne. Um, and I put, I would suggest putting a little less onion on the recipe that I'm going to um, put on the side of the website. I'm going to put a half an onion, uh, one fourth the um, onion instead, just so you can actually start putting more if you want because um, it's a little bit on the oniony side. But other than that, it tastes really, really good. So hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.